piece of art dude like his skating is so beautiful we want just stylish and flip trick master wow that's all i can say about him he's really athletic like every trick is like it's so pretty to see i love to just sit and then and then watch him all around the place just pure talent
His hard flip is so beautifully done that it stuns a crowd. You know, it stuns all of his peers.
Dozing off them zonies, just pop the bandit. Wave rock like a line, it froze like a line. Body at the fix, damn, that's so outlandish. Straight up, she gon' make it clap, clap, throw them bands. In. Walking through the water, off, they know my name, yeah. Dropped out, got signed, got mom house all in the same, yeah. Don't you come around, we ain't got the time, B. Flame the golden child Riding right behind the pull up beside We poppin' champagne Damn you apple sauce
that lead. So that one is after time. Oh, yeah. Six oh, he knows he did a thing on. 20 seconds left for Luan. Yeah. Look her. You guys realize this is all right now? Master, you never know what's going to happen with Luan. Oh, wow. You should just do a Crayola lolly down Come on, buddy. Woo! Oh, there's that catch. Elijah Houston down in sixth place. Here's a look again. Luanski with his right foot forward doing it for six. And this is the oh. fastest trick that we've seen so far in the contest. Full speed, flat ground, huge pop, big distance, that. perfect landing, full speed. What well an explosion. Europe. This finals is the one to so look hard again. No one in skateboarding can do a hard flip like Luan. Look at that four. Look how far past the actual bank. Folded and caught. Ago, he took us for all our money. He broke the entire bank. Oh, the bank's <laughs> out of money! Oh! Hey, all the money! He broke the bank. Went out of business like an American bank right there. We're gonna get our money back from you. Six years ago, you took all our money. Warm up, Just warm up, warm up, warm up. Warm up. It was like this high. Don't gamble with Brazilians.
never thought I would have this view one day in my life, you know, like have the skate park right there, getting interviewed by you, got a lot of cameras here, expensive cameras, you know, <laughs> got Nike, everything. Wow, it's crazy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, like, you gotta think skateboarding every day and skate as much as you can and do, you know, give back to skateboarding and yeah. the kids for sure. I first heard about Luan about 3 or 4 a.m. in the morning. I got a message from a friend of mine in England. His name's uh, Ben Powell. I got a message from him saying, hey, you got to check this guy out. Crazy Brazilian. Check it. And he sent me a link. This was like early hours of the morning. That was my first introduction to Luan. You know, I clicked on the link and I went, oh, jaw dropped. You know, like anytime I see like a young kid with that much technical ability, you know, I stop and look. I watch. He's very friendly. He's very humorous. Always making jokes. He's very likable, you know, and that comes across. Like, you watch him skate and it comes across because you don't know what he's going to do. You don't know if he's going to laugh in the middle of his run. And, and people like that. They want pro skaters to be exciting like that. They don't want predictability. They want inspiration. Well, I mean, I know Brazil has a, re a lot of really tough areas, you know, so if a kid can kind of latch on to something as positive as skateboarding, and it gives them an outlet from that, from all of the violence and the hate. And the, you know, I've noticed that in every Brazilian skater is that you give them the chance and they take it. And uh, I wasn't really like close to my family, like my real dad and mom. When I was born, they, they left me for my um, grandmother. So I was raised by my grandmother and my grandfather. And then I was like always with them, you know. But I mean, I missed it, my mom and dad too, you know? And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, I mean, it's hard, man. I mean, it's hard not having a family next to you, you know, like telling you what to do, like what's wrong, what's right. And that's what I missed most about it, you know? Skateboarding saved my life, that's for sure. Because where I'm born, you know, like, it's just a ghetto. You have two choices, get out of the ghetto or stay there forever. I started skateboarding when I was 10. My dad bought this like plastic board in the mall for me. And I never tried it because I was like, no, that's so stupid. Like I want to play soccer. And then like two days after that, I was like, I just saw this guy like skating in my, like, my neighborhood, like Newton Nevis, he's a professional skateboarder. And I was like, that thing right there, that wood, I want to do that. Like I, I, I want to shred, I want to skate. And that's pretty much it. I fell in love in the first time I saw a skateboard. Like Ten years ago, my grandmother that raised me uh, died. She passed away from uh, cancer. She had a cancer. And then a week after that, my dad passed away too. He got... He had some problems too. And uh, yeah, man. And after that, I was like pretty much by myself, you know, like traveling around the world here in Brazil. And uh, just living with my friends and, you know, living that skateboarding life. And uh, I was just alone by myself. Because after my, my grandmother died, I was like, yeah, that's it. There's nothing to do now, you know, like, I just want to skate and I don't want to even, want, I don't want to go to school. I, I, let's see what's going to happen. I just want to skate and travel and, you know, just have fun. You are to be the best, always. I know it sounds weird, but I at everything. If I play a video game, I wanna be the best one. I wanna win every single time. Even if, if I'm like having fun with my friends or like, you know, just playing, I just wanna win, like every time. Because, you know, it makes you strong and, and good at what you do, you know? That's what I wanna do too, you know? Like, I wanna be like, important for Brazilian skateboarding here, you know, like, I want to be important here. What's up, everybody? My name is Juan Oliveira. We're here in Paris, France. Uh, we're here at the Fine High Conference 2015. Hope you guys enjoy it. Let's shred.
single Street League event he's entered in. Every time he steps on the course, you think, man, he's going to take this one. You know, and just kind of, it gets away from him in the finals a lot of times. Even just watching the speed checks he does out there with the little mini power slides. Possibly because he does about four times more tricks than most guys, that by the time he gets to the final, he, he's slowing down a little bit. Nice kick flip. Nolly heel flip in, showing that technical ability. Switch tail slide 270. Switch front side kick flip. Very excellent first run. Kick flip is asked on the quarter pipe, showing that transition's no problem. Ends it with that hard flip. Nine club replay. Jeff Walker. And here we have it. Beautiful textbook hard flip. It's called a hard flip because it's very difficult to flick your foot like that. There's that switch front side kick flip. <laughs> Nolly back side kick flip. The one setting up, popping Nolly front of the board. Perfect rotation 180. Look at that. Let's see that tiger's blood. He has been in the finals quite a few times. He's got plenty of nine clubs. He needs an 8-8 eight, eight if he wants to get into first. Look at him, gearing up. Gearing up for getting down. You can see the there nervous energy. Hopefully he can channel it. Come on, man. Yeah! He does it! He does it! Winning trick, locks it up. Switch, big spin, heel flip, lands about six foot past the obstacle. Beauty. There's that other angle of the champ's move. Look at that catch. Beautiful. That's called bolts, ladies and gentlemen. You land on the bolts. What was going through your mind before you dropped in? I don't know, I was trying to do what I always do, you know, just having fun and skate with my friends. And uh, I don't know, it worked out. I worked hard for this, you know. I've been skating every week, every month, and yeah, it happened. You moved to tears and you're here with fellow Brazilian Bob Bernquist. I mean, how do you describe the emotions of this moment? I, I, I can't explain. I, I felt like my, my grandma passed away five years ago and I felt like she was with me right now, so I'm blessed. I just, I just gotta thank God. I gotta thank everybody that came, that came out and let's see, I'm stoked. Thanks a lot, guys. Congratulations it's for your grandma and for everyone here in LA. Give it up for Luan Oliver. Yes. Tell us a little about Luan so far in this competition. I think the skateboard speaks for itself, right? Full speed, real technical. And real creative, you just don't know what he's going to do. I couldn't tell you what he's setting up for half of the time. He changed his mind. Perfect switch, straight 360 kick flip. That's why the crowd likes it. That's why he's the people's champ. You know, and that's why everybody was so stoked when he won that Los Angeles contest. Not only progressing skateboarding here at Street League, but progressing out on the streets daily. And to top that off, he does things that nobody else in the world can actually do. Look at that. <laughs> we should be keeping a tally of how many times. Wow! That's what I'm saying. That switch heel flip to wall right. Unbelievable. Wow. And look at that, a 9.1. There's that tail slope. That nice combo. He took disaster. There's that nice tight shot, the switch 360 flip, so you can see that ball control up close and personal. Beauty. How's he going to follow that one up? I mean, that was pretty much the best run that we've ever seen. At least in my lifetime. Ability, though, guys, so much ball control. Oh, 